Hey everybody, today we're out doing some pheasant and grouse hunting here at early September 2022. Stick around for this week's outdoor adventure. Wow. That's a nice Hi. deer. My name is Dan and welcome to DC Outdoors. If this is your first time here and you like outdoor adventure videos, gear reviews, and other outdoor related stuff, well please get started by clicking the like, the subscribe, and the bell notification button so you don't miss anything. Well, let's get hunting. Find the birds, Ray. Find them. We'll walk along this row. Yeah. Find the birds, buddy. We'll just have to watch. That guy was over that way. So I just don't want to shoot towards other people. Little We're looking for green heads. Green heads, yeah. Yeah, the mosquitoes are pretty bad. Yeah, yeah I might have to bug spray a bit here. First week of September, first weekend of September I should say, and we're checking out something different. We're out at a Alberta Conservation Association property where um, pheasants are released. So we got Raider with me and half of the snack squad and hopefully looking for pheasants, but uh, my son has a, a grouse stamp as well or bird license, so you never know, hopefully we can come across a rough grouse or two. Beautiful day. It's supposed to get up to like 30 degrees Celsius though later today. So just trying to get a good jump on it early this morning. And uh, yeah, maybe get out of here before she gets too hot. But anyways, wish us luck. We'll check in with you soon. It's kind of tricky. Oh, there's a dog over that way. It's tricky because I want to give people their space, right? I don't want to go and stumble on where someone else is. hoppers that jump in the tall grass so you can hear movement but it's just the hoppers
Let's find the birds, buddy. That's a nice deer. Take a picture. Are you Should sure YouTube that? How do you think it died? You think it got stuck? It might have got stuck. How long was it here then? I don't know. Look what we found on the fence row. Big deer. Can you take the antlers? Is there uh, any roll against that? I don't know. It's right on its head. spine, right? I can see its whole spine here. Yeah. It's been here a while. You can see how dry it is. All right. Well, we called the fish and wildlife officer, and uh, they gave us permission to keep this uh, white tail head. So it's pretty exciting. So we got it strapped onto the pack, and we're moving along, trying to find some birds. Um, I think I might have mentioned earlier that this is a pheasant release site. So supposedly they put... Uh, ton of pheasants out here and we were talking to a guy when we got parked and um, he had said that he was out here yesterday and got his quota and got his two birds so we're excited for that and um, you know I don't know what the odds are of finding a rough grouse or maybe some gray partridge but we'll see so we're looking for those guys too so we'll see how she goes but pretty awesome stuff to be able to find that deadhead that's awesome just walking through some of these rows, I'll flip the camera right away and kind of show you what I'm talking about. But basically what you'll see here is rows of deeper grass. So what we're doing is we're kind of walking along this side of the row of deeper grass. And then we'll, uh, you know, probably work our way up to that way, up to that top there, cross over the deep grass, and then work the next one just to see if we can push anything out. Same thing over here. We got a little clump of trees. I don't know if you guys can see or not. Kind of walk along the clump of trees. See if we can push anything out. Got some tall grass in here. You never know. See if we push anything out. nothing straight ahead you'll see another little clump of brush so again I oh, I thought I heard something <laughs> I think what we'll do is again just try to walk the outside clump of the brush and um, see if we can flush anything I mean the grass in here is pretty deep too so you never know some deep grass Definitely watching here on the ground. Little shade back here. Ah.
Let's go, buddy. Want some more? <laughs> Good boy, buddy. Good boy. It's just after 11, about quarter after 11, probably. Uh, almost 22 degrees Celsius. Both me and my son and the dog, all three of us are dying here of heat. So I think we're working our way back. Uh, another hunter just got a pheasant with a couple dogs, which was pretty cool. Um, we might have had a chance on him, but about 15, 20 minutes earlier, we were just chilling in the shade along a fence line, drinking some water. Uh, might have had a shot at that one, but that's okay. This is a really cool place though. So uh, I'm sure we'll be back. Might even actually come back out here tomorrow. We'll see. Um, but I just think it's too hot for us to spend all day out here, man. But working our way back to the truck. We'll probably check in with you there unless we see anything else uh, interesting along the way. I don't know if you guys can see the road or not, but again, we got a little row here of grass, tall grass. And just walking along it, seeing if anything will pop out. Right here, whoa. Come on, buddy, whoa. Dog's got a second wind all of a sudden. He was dragging tail, and now he's, for some reason, raring to go. Probably knows that we're a few minutes away from the truck and the air conditioner. Okay everybody, well we wrapped up the hunt there, made it back to the truck, but uh, didn't have any luck other than finding that uh, dead head, so super pumped to be able to take that thing home with us. Uh, but I really appreciate you watching today's outdoor adventure. Once again, though, if this was your first time here and you like outdoor adventure videos, gear reviews, and other outdoor-related stuff, well, please hit that subscribe, the like, and the bell notification button so you don't miss anything. Until next time, we'll see you outdoors.